Good evening friends. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. Today I am here to discuss about the Vipra coding questions that were asked recently. That was held on 23-2-2022. If you observe the input format, firstly the user needs to enter a string as input, namely original word. Let's take the string as Heman. Heman. And what the output format is? Output format is also a string representing the new word after the vowels in the original string are reversed that means in the original string we need to reverse the vowels that means firstly we need to take vowels from the original string what are the vowels that we are present in the given string is e and a these are the two vowels that are present in the given string we need to reverse these positions we need to reverse these positions then the expected word is called new word. So the expected word is H, H, A, M, E, N, E, H. If you observe the sample test cases, this will help you to understand the program very well. The first given input is H, E, E, L, O, U. Firstly, we need to find what are the vowels present in the given string. The vowels present in the given string is E, E, O, U. These are the four vowels that are present in the given string. How we are finding vowels in the given string? We need to iterate each and every character in the given string and check whether the character is a vowel or not. If it is a vowel, we need to store it in a special array called vowel array after taking all the vowels from the original string we need to replace these vowels we need to replace these vowels in reverse order firstly we need to take vowels from the string and replace that character value with space so space space because these are two there are two vowels after that L is present, then again vowel, then vowel. We need to replace these vowels in reverse order. What is the expected output? First, U is paste, then O. Two spaces are here, then L is present. And the next character is E. e. This is the expected output whether this expected output is matches with the exact output or not both the expected and exacted output is same just apply the same logic in programming firstly we need to take input from the user the basic thing in java is we need to create a class first so class vipro class vipro then public static void main of string ox after that we need to take input from the user in java if you want to take any input from the user we need scanner class by using scanner class only we are going to take input from the user scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot the scanner class is available in util package if you don't import that util package it will get an error that's why i'm importing scanner class from util package import java dot util dot scanner scanner after that i'm going to take string input string str equal to sc dot next line it will take string input from the user after that we need to iterate each and every character so that's why i'm creating a character array so char array equal to in strings we are having a special method to convert string into character array so str dot two two char array char array is used 
convert any string into character array after that we need to iterate each and every character from the array so array elements are starts from 0 int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length array dot length i s plus we need to check each character if the character is a vowel or not if it is a vowel we need to store it in special array called vowels array so if array of i i indicates index the first iteration the i value is 1 the i value is 0 it will check the first character is vowel or not if array of i double equal to a the vowels are a e i o u a a g i o u similarly the vowels in capital case also that's why capital a capital a capital e capital i capital o capital u these are the vowels after checking the character is a vowel or not if character is vowel then we need to store that character in a special array called vowels array so for that i am going to create an array called vowels array before creating the array we don't know how many characters are there in the given how many vowel characters are there in the given string so we need to increase the character array size based upon this based upon the vowel characters present in the string that's why i am creating collections array that is array list array list of type character array list is automatically decreases the size of the array whenever the elements is increased and it will automatically decreases the size whenever the elements in the array is deleted so array list of character type and name is vowels equal to new array list new array list of character new array list of character so if if the encountered character is well we need to add that encountered character in an array called vowels array so vowels dot add of array of after adding that well to the vowels array we need to replace that particular array to space so array of array of i equal to array of i equal to space After completion of these steps, we need to just iterate the loop and check whether any space is encountered or not. If space is encountered, we need to replace that space with the vowel in reverse order because we need we need to replace the actual vowels with the vowels in reverse order. That's why I'm going to take for loop int i equal to 0 i less than less than array dot length i plus plus again i am checking if of array of i double equal to space if space is encoded means this is a vowel we need to replace that vowel with the vowel in reverse order so reverse order means vowels are stored in vowels array in actual order we need in we need reverse order reverse order means we need to take the elements from last to first in array list we want to take 
how many characters present in the array we are having a method called size size method is there to take how many characters present in the present in the array list or to find length of the array list so int m equal to vowels dot size vowels dot size it returns how many elements present in the array after that if space is encountered we need to replace that space with the actual character in reverse order so array of i equal to vowels dot get of minus minus m minus minus means it will decreases the value first then it will get the value from the vowels array for example the vowels array size is 5 there are 5 elements present in the array so the indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 so we need to take up to 4 elements only if you want to access the fifth index it will get an error called array index out of bounds to avoid this problem i am taking minus minus m minus minus means first the value is decreased then it will it will take the element from the vowels array after completion of these steps just simply print I just simply print system dot out dot print of system dot out dot print of arr just copy the code the code I just copy the code control c then creates new file and paste it here and save file as save as wipro.py sorry wipro.java wipro.java is already available in my folder i just re replace it and after that i am opening command prompt cmd the file is available in c drive then c drive and the folder is there so i need to change the directory after that java collections folder is there java collections folder is there in java collections file is available that is pro dot java pro dot java java c is used to compile the compile our program in compilation we are getting an error called to char array str of type string okay in char array c is capital case but i am using small case that's why it gets an error change it small case c to capital case Let's save the program then open command prompt once clear i'm going to clear the screen cls is used to clear the screen i just maximize the size of the command prompt then java c file name is wipro dot java then no errors is occurred then java file name file name is wipro is asking for input I am giving e u t o p i a topia in topia we are having e u o i a there are five vowels in ethiopia and e is replaced with a that means the first vowel is replaced with last the second is replaced with i that means e is replaced with 
i that is last second element from last and o is replaced with o only because it is the center element from last to from left to right it is the third element and right to left also it is the third element that's why it is not changed and the fourth element i is replaced with u i is the last element from i is the second element from last and it is replaced with the second element from first and a is the last element from first and it is the first element from last the first element from last is replaced with the first element from first i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any doubts please comment it below i will try to clarify your doubts thank you all